Hello ladies and gentlemen, and now this is a, a video response to uh, Havana. He posted uh, uh, a question in the Houdini forum, side effects forum, and he's asking us how we can achieve the kind of effect that we can see in the side effects uh, demo reel 2008, where we can see the, the gold dust ending and forming uh, the Houdini logo. Okay, and what we are going to do is something like that. We have particles, and all these particles are going to uh, get closer and closer, and they are going to end up forming uh, a cube, all right, in this case. So imagine that this is our logo, and this is the, the gold, the golden dust, all right? So that's uh, something quick and easy to do for anyone. We are not going to use expressions or anything like that. We are going to use only plain, uh, nodes or tools that we have inside our uh, program okay so that's uh, an easiest the easiest way of doing it okay I think <laughs> so let's get started first we have our logo in this case it's just a box as you can see we have a box a simple box with eight uh, axis divisions polygon mesh let's go back to our object level and what we are going to do is go to our create particles shelf and here we are going to select this one called uh, source from um, object, okay, from geometry. So just clicking here, selecting uh, at the same time your your box. And after we do that, we are going to have a new two different nodes inside a particle emitter a geometry node. And what we are going to do is in here in the pop network in this pop net the node we are going to go to the standard tab and here in pre-roll time we are going to set that to 24 okay and now you can see all the particles going uh, there I'm going to go inside my pop net number one and here what I'm going to do select my source node and go to the emission type and I'm going to change the points uh, random to surfaces random okay now what I want to do in, in the BERT uh, tab is change the constant bit rate from 100 to, let's say, something around 500. Okay. And uh, that's it for now. I'm going to go back to my object particle emitter number one and I'm going to select these two different objects, these nodes. I'm going to copy these two different nodes, Control C and Control V, in order to copy that. So now you can see we have two different sets of the, the same uh, kind of network. And what I want to do is select my PopNet number two and go inside again to my emitter or my, my source, excuse me. So we, got, we get in here and we are going to go to the attributes pa uh, panel or tab. And here I'm going to select the initial velocity option. I'm going to change that to use inherited velocity. Okay, and there we go. That's the kind of thing that we are going to see. Now I'm going to go back to my object level and I'm going to make invisible my logo. Okay, because I don't want to see the, the logo right now. And you can see that now we have the, the same kind of uh, our box, but it's all made of uh, particles. All right. So what I want to do now is go again to my particle emitter node. And here what I want to do is press tab and select blend my blend shapes node okay I'm gonna select that uh, place it in, in here select my pop net number one and pop uh, net number two make this one visible and in here in the blend shapes parameters what I need to do is create another blend so I'm gonna press here in order to create another one so now I have two okay and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see better. Now we have two different blend options in here, two different sliders. Well, all I have to do now is just uh, rewind this one, move it to, to zero. And as you can see, we have the effect immediately right here. So we can go from zero to one. And obviously, all you have to do is to animate this parameter. Okay, you can go from here and here. And that's it. You can animate this. You can... Um, after that, you can make this one visible and delete your, your particles, uh, etc. That it depends what kind of object you are 
you have in your uh, scene. But this is um, a quick way of doing it and um, without using expressions for uh, everybody, right? So I hope you, you like the tutorial and I'll see you later.